Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the final round of the RBC Heritage here at Harbour Town Heritage's course. As you can see, Tommy Fleetwood, um, Troy Mullinax, Burns and myself are at the top of the leaderboard. So let's get back out here for the second and final round. In the real event, Dustin Johnson is a... Uh, Top of the leaderboard after shooting a 3 under par 68 for a one-shot lead over Shane Lowry, Ian Poulter and Rory Sabatini. Great to see Johnston back at the top of leaderboards, guys. Really enjoyed watching him play yesterday. His putter was on fire. Hopefully mine can be the same. Delighted that the AI's eventually given us a real challenge here. So seven mile per hour wins dropping down to the two. Wooden. I have changed my outfit up a little bit. I've paid my homage to, to Tiger Woods. And there we go. There's a far better swing line, guys. I have been in the the driving range probably for about an hour and a half since the, the last video. Just making a few tweaks. And I am starting to see the, the improvements in my swings. So will that wind probably... Yeah, 8 iron. Try to fire this one right at the flag stick. Pushed it slightly right. It's just going to land slightly right in the flag, not too much. It should kick out well for me. And that's actually worked out fairly well. Probably going to have about a nine foot putt. I do apologise, I've made a schoolboy error and not muted my phone, which is never far from my hand. Nine foot putt, this one's going to turn left. Oh, we just missed that on the left edge. Hopefully. These kind of putts aren't going to come back and haunt me. We'll put this in for the par and check out the leaderboard. So, Phillips, Cross, Colin Montgomery, Stuart Sink, Kazir, Burns. Wow, look at that for the leaderboard. The leader is 20 under. Welshman Phillips, really going well. So I have got a lot of work to do out here in the course to... Uh, Get to the top of the leaderboard, never mind win this event. Hole 2, par 5, really looking to, to pick up birdie here. And like I said, I do apologise about my throat, guys. It's still not 100% right. I, I am aware that I am sounding hoarse. That one should just hold the right-hand side of the fairway and hopefully kick forward. Out of this light rough. Just. So we should be able to go and attack this green in two now, maybe or hopefully set up an eagle opportunity. That green really slopes to the right. We've got a 10 mile per hour wind. This club's perfect. This club is perfect for me. So just deal off in this because the wind will hold this ball up big time. Fantastic strike. This should kick on to the green and hopefully run up towards the pin. We are on the dance floor for an eagle opportunity. I would probably guess about 12 to 15 feet. 14 feet. Little movement in this one. Hopefully we can convert this. It's a straight putt line. Boom! And we do pick up the eagle and that's really going to improve our score. Let's see how that has placed us on the leaderboard now. We're in the top 21. Wow, Colin Montgomery. It's a name I've not heard of in ages. I don't even know if he plays on the seniors tour. I know Bernard Langer is destroying the seniors tour. He's undefeated. He's won every event he's entered. What an accomplishment that is. So hole three, just going to have to apply a touch of draw here. To make sure we do hold the fairway. Deadly state swing. And that's going to work out perfectly for me. Attacking this pin on the third green. Look at that. That green is perfectly... There's no breaking it if I'm short. 
slope's going to take me left, wind's going to start to take me back right, just need to put a clean swing in this and we're fine. I've pushed it right, would you believe it? How far right's that going to go? It is really moving right, that's not even going to be on the green. Oh, guys, that is a huge mistake. That is a huge mistake. I've pulled that to the left, the putt, yeah. Just look at that putt line. I am sure that the... I know there's been no uh, patches or anything off late, unless they've done something server side. But I'm sure you get punished more for, for poor putts than what you used to previously do. It's something I'm going to have to work on, because some of these putts that I failed to, to uh, sink today could well come back and haunt me on this round. We could be easily four under through three holes. So that wind just going to slightly hold me up. Just deal off in this five iron. Once again, I've pushed it slightly right. The green does come back towards the pin. And I've just realised here, guys, I'm sure I'm playing the same pin set as what I did on round one. And I can only apologise if... If that is offending anyone or making things less interesting for anyone. But I certainly set up um, pin four for the for round two on this event. So I do not know what's happened there. It's clearly been a glitch. This looks good. This looks good. Oh, wow. Wow. It looks like it's going to be one of these rounds where things are so close to dropping yet so far. I'm really going to be following the final round today when I get an opportunity, Easter Sunday today. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, or Easter, whatever you're planning today, Easter Monday, with your family. I'm going to be chilling out after I'm out coaching this morning. There's a better swing line. And I will settle down in the late afternoon, early evening here, and watch the, the final round proceedings. I am rooting for Dustin Johnson, I like him. I think he's a great athlete. He puts a lot of work into his game. This should be all over this. This green should turn towards the flag stick. This should be all over this. Weight should be perfect. That should start to turn. And we have set up another eagle opportunity which would really push us right up this leaderboard and put us to four under. There's not much in this. I should be making this putt here, guys. Just going to move slightly to the right. Look at my putt line. Look at my putt line. That's a huge mistake. That is a huge mistake. My putt is certainly not on fire today. We're just going to pick up the birdie. Certainly not putting like Johnson did yesterday. I mean, he had a 20 foot for birdie on the sixth hole and a 19 footer for birdie on the 13th. But the highlight of his putting for me came on hole number 14 when Johnson dropped a 47 foot bomb that caught the lip of the cup and rolled almost all the way around the cup before dropping. And that's the luck sometimes you need to win events. Sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. There's a nice swing. But like I say, welcome on board to all the new subscribers. We have picked up um, a good amount of subscribers over the past few weeks. And welcome on board. Hopefully the channel continues to grow. If you have missed uh, the first round of the RBC Heritage on the channel, please check it out. It is the previous video uploaded before this one. So just deal off the, the lob wedge here, looking to fire this right at it. Green should turn to the left here slightly. Green should turn to the left here. Oh, we've not caught that slope. So I am pushing things slightly to the right, guys, as you're seeing. And the green doesn't turn at all. 
So I don't know why I was urging for that. And there's another putt that I've missed. Look at this, guys. It's criminal. Look at my putt line. Like I said in yesterday's video, with my new swing technique, I, I hold the controller at a different angle. And I've really got to, to turn it back round to make these putts straighter. Colin Montgomery is still at the top. It would be absolutely fantastic if Dustin Johnston or Shane Lowry or someone came through here. But great to see so many of the, the real name AI players up here competing. I'm just going to try and use this tree, the tree branches here, to hold this shot because otherwise it's going to go far too long. So just looking at hit the overhanging tree branches and get this ball sitting down and hopefully set up a birdie putt because I need to make something happen now. It's a great strike. There's a draw coming into effect. Hit this branches. Oh, I'm long. I didn't hit the branch. We just missed the branch. Didn't apply enough draw there. And how on earth has that travelled 210 yards for a 5 iron? So let's see if we can do a Dustin Johnson putt here. 42 feet, 4 inches down. It's breaking to the right. Nothing exact here, just a lag putt. If it drops, it's very fortunate what you need. But I tell you what, this is tracking well, guys. That's in. Oh, wow, we've only went and done it. We've only went and done it. If you haven't already hit the like button, please do so. That puts us up now in the top 15. Hole number 8. Let's see if we can kick on now and make this entertaining. Really need to start hunting down the leaders now. bit of a wonky swing line. We're going to be fortunate if this holds the right hand side. The wind has fortunately taken us back there. And that's going to run out well. It's such a fantastic course this. Especially in real life. Love the lighthouse. And I did share a, a tweet of the 18th green yesterday. It was fantastic. If you've not followed me on Twitter yet guys, please do so. I will leave my Twitter handle in the video description. So 8 iron. Hoping this wind takes us round and this can run up towards the flag. This looks like it should be all over this pin. That is a fantastic approach shot. But the way I'm putting, I'll probably miss this birdie opportunity. Need to start making these drop. And we do so. Let's see where that's going to put us on the leaderboard now. We are four shots off Colin Montgomery. Troy Mullinax. Peyton. Cross. All up there. And I think these guys are actually doing quite well in the actual real life event also. Looking to leave a flop shot here. We may just run out of fairway here into the, the, the first cut, but I'm, I'm prepared to do so. That's a great strike. But I hope you guys like my new outfit. Let me know if you do. Didn't expect that to go as far left, but it's, it's panned out really, really well. And as stated, we are going to have a flop shot. Need to execute this well. should run out and sit down. Yeah, we've played that fairly well despite putting a slow on it. Probably looking about a seven foot putt for birdie here. Six footer, nothing much in this. Need to make these drop. Just right edge. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lee, what is going on here guys? And, and this event is slipping away from my fingers now. I could easily be or should be about eight under here, guys, if, if we take the the easy putts that I've missed into consideration. We're still four shots back here. Hunt and down Monty. Who would have guessed Colin Montgomery would have came to the the, the the top as a front runner? This should just settle down on the right-hand side. 
and that's actually going to be a decent angle if it holds this fairway which it just does it should be a decent line now but the way the wind's blown is really going to attack this pin with the pitch and wedge must get this close slope's going to take me to the right wind's going to take me to the right just lofting this up a tiny bit that wind's just changed on me ever so slightly that's a great strike this should be all over this pin like a rash this should be all over this pin like a rash and it is that is a fantastic golf shot like I say my patterns really let me down today this would put us to six under and hopefully maybe only three shots back of the, the AI now if they're still at 20 under so we are three shots back of Montgomery Cross, Phillips, Burns, Malinute some top top golfers out there firing low scores hole 11 I am running out of holes here there we go there we go Lee there's the laser beam shots just try to keep it left side to avoid these overhanging tree branches which we failed to do in the first round but the, the back nine at Harbour Town is notoriously harder than the front nine and you're seeing that with the player scores yesterday and Friday also and Thursday <laughs> hoping to fire another wedge right at this pin here I think that should release out quite well but we have come up a little bit short there that's, that's a mistake in my calculation yardage there it's a simple 13 footer. I must drain this. I just need to keep my putt line straight, which I've done. And that has dropped for the birdie, and we are now starting to make a move. Imagine if I hadn't missed all these simple putts. Malinu's making a move. I think he is currently third or second in the real life event. Yeah, he's, he's third. He's joint third. Burns, who's on the leaderboard, he's fourth. This will go far. Eddie Pepperell, who was at the top of the leaderboard in round one in our virtual TGC 2019 tournament, has totally disappeared in this event here. So another solid drive, set up another wedge. It's lofting his gap wedge up, letting the wind carry this, and hopefully it sits down as quickly as possible for me. It looks quite a challenging green here. That's a great strike. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Ah, that should be more responsive on these greens. It's just a pity the wedges, you, you generate no spin whatsoever so we've got an 11 foot putt slightly uphill turning to the left turn turn and we've started to to drain some putts guys and we should be edging closer to the top of this leaderboard we are now one shot back Troy Mullinax Monty unbelievable Colin Montgomery I loved watching him compete in the Ryder Cup he was a fantastic competitor for Europe in that event. One of the best golfers never to win a major. I think Monty's putting really let him down over his career. This should be a great drive. If this just holds the fairway, what a drive this is. We may just run out into the first cut. But we should have nothing more than a pitch here. But I will be getting some course reviews up, guys. Like I say, I've not been as active with the Masters last week. And this sore throat. So I'll try and at least get two course reviews up next week. Starting off tomorrow. And then I think we'll get two rounds. What a shot this is. Get in. Get oh What a shot that is. I think it's a Zurich Classic uh, next week, which we will be partaking in as well. 
nine footer. A little bit of a movement in this one. Have we read it? We have read it. And we are now starting to keep our putt line straight, which is a good thing. And we now move to 20 under. Reynolds, the Canadian, is nine under for today. I mean, Montgomery's 13 under for today. What a round that is. So we move on to hole 14. This is a treacherous par three, this one. He's dropping down to the six iron. One touch of fade just to counteract this wind and see if we can get this running up towards the pin. Needs to be a clean strike here. Which we've got. Yardage should be fantastic. The way the wind's tracking should be fantastic. This should have birdie written all over it. And what a back nine we are having here, guys. We are really motoring down this, or should I say up this leaderboard at the moment. This would put us joint leader, which we've drained. And we should be co-leader with Reynolds unless he's done anything on hit the last hole. He, and he has. He moves to 10 under today. Burns is making a move. Mullinax is making a move. Tommy Fleetwood is making a move on the leaderboard. Fantastic to see. Nail-biting stuff here on the final round of the RBC Heritage. Need to birdie this par 5, this long par 5. Is playing the toughest hole in the course. I think I've pushed that too far right. I think we're in trouble here, guys. This needs to hold the fairway. And it's not. We're now going to struggle to reach this in 3. <clears throat> Mind you, light rough's not too bad. I need to attack things now, so... Applying a touch of fade... A touch of draw here to counteract this slope, which looks like it's going to go fairly hard right. Just looking to come over the top of this tree. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't have the loft to come over the tree. Oh, I'm in the drink. I am in the drink. And that could turn out to be the turning point at the RBC Heritage here. What a shot I need to pull off here. I can't if I if I bogey anything here is game setting match. So I'm gonna have to really draw this six iron round. Wow. This is a big shot coming up. That's a great strike. Come on, draw. Come on, draw. Get round. Look at this. If this holds this green well like it should do, what a golf shot that is, guys. That is one of the best golf shots you will see in this game. And we have got an opportunity to save par here after hitting the water on our second shot. And we do. That feels like a birdie to me that we've saved par there. Wow. Wow. We are still one shot off the leader, which is now Mullinax and Reynolds, both at 22 under. Fantastic goal from them. Hole 16, quite a short par 4, just trying to come to the right hand side of this tree here. It should work out well, one should take us round. Hopefully we're kicking past the branch here. And we've got a line of sight into the green, looks like we've just managed to. Now, this is one of these shots where I don't know if I'm going to catch this tree or not. I'm going to suggest that I'm not. I'm going to suggest that I'm not. If I do catch it, this is going to come up short. I've caught it. I've caught the branch. Would you believe it? Wow, I've seen that. I've seen this happen in so many a times in this game. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So, unfortunately for me, it did this time. And we're going to be left with a tr nasty up and down from the bunker here. No. It needs to run out well. It needs to run out past this slope. I think I've left myself a nasty downhill putt here. This is to save par. This is to save par. This is a big putt coming up. I've not been putting well today. Barred it. 
Bar that 47 footer I think it was we had. Needs to turn. Needs to turn. It is. It is. Boom. What an up and down that is. And we are still in the hunt here for winning the RBC Heritage. We are one shot back. Fleetwood has had a fantastic RBC Heritage event here as well. Need to get a birdie from somewhere. I really do. I'm going to try land this to the right of the flagstick because the green starts to turn back towards the pin if we manage to achieve this with this 8 iron using the wind to its full effect here. It's a good strike. This should be close guys, this should be close. This should start to turn towards the pin. Come on, get down, get down, get down. It's decent. Such a hard pin to get close to. And I'm happy with that. It's probably giving me about a 14, 15 foot putt for birdie. 14 feet bang on exactly. Turn back, turn back, turn back. Oh, wow. Would you believe it? I thought that was in as soon as it left the putter face. It's just going to be a part. So I'm not sure what the AI's done. Oh, would you believe it? Reynolds has now got a two-shot lead at the top. I need to pick up an eagle somewhere here on the final hole, which is going to be so, so hard. So we're going to have to drain one from the fairway to take this to a playoff. But I'm delighted with the competition the AI have put out here. I didn't deserve, I don't deserve to win this event with, let's be honest, three or four putts I had. One was for an eagle. It's a fantastic tee shot. It's gave me an opportunity to try and sink this. So I'm going to have to be quite aggressive with this shot here, guys. Because we're going for it. I'm that kind of player. All or nothing. Just going to loft up the 7 iron. Probably going to be a bit too long. One touch of fade to counteract the wind. A good strike. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. It's going to be too long. Fantastic attempt, though. We do have the opportunity for the birdie here. Probably to consolidate second place. <clears throat> Not much in this. A little 11 footer. Should be making this. No. And I think that sums my day up. Once again, look at my putt light. So, delighted that the AI have made a real competition of this, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Delighted to say I didn't win this one because we, I didn't deserve to win this with the way I played over the two rounds. But Reynolds is the eventual winner. Mullinax comes in at second, and I come in at joint third with Tommy Fleetwood and Burns. That is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, peace out and love you all. Bye.